Why are you such a pain? Why are you like this? Hello. Hey, hello there. Back to the vlog. So we are on like week six. It's now six weeks till I move out. Scary. This place is looking tidy. -er. So that's my job for today. I have to tidy up both here and my bedroom, which I both a dump. That's all of my friend new stuff, which will go to the flat when I move in. I'm just going through the stuff. Bike needs to go back and where it should, and boxes need to go back where they should. It's a very warm day today, and I'm very sweaty and horrible. Yes. A um, couple of other jobs that need doing. Need to tidy my room. Need to get my computer ready because it's going in tomorrow. Uh, nail biting. Uh, it shouldn't be, but you know, I am. Uh, I've written the first draft of the um, video I'll be making soon, which is about shootings along the canal, which is a quite serious topic, and I don't like it. Uh, for some reason I had a mad thought there was something in my mini fridge then. Um, so yes, I'm going to try and make myself better because I looked at, when I was editing up, I haven't actually finished editing up, it's going to be late, but when I was editing up the um, most recent fat chat, I was actually shocked at myself for how little I vlogged, so a lot more vlogging, even the mundane stuff. So, got to tidy here, got to tidy my room, and then I'm going to be happy because those are really annoying me right now. Um, suitcase needs unpacking, so I still haven't unpacked. I came back over a week ago. I'm a mess, but I need to leave that out because in two weeks I'm off to devices, um, which is, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I just need to get all that sorted out as well. need to bully my parents into sorting out my student finance because they still haven't done it. Uh, um, lots to do. Lots to do. Let's get on with it. My face is bad again. Look how red it is. I hate myself. So, lots to do. Look at a creep up. It went. We just saw a deer. It went up that back cliff there. It went down that corner and went up that way. Yeah, we just saw a deer. Well, I, I just about missed it, but Alex spotted it. And just about saw so that wild garlic as well. Mmm, wild garlic. I wonder where it is. Oh, I'm here with Alex walking in the Roach Valley. God, that thing went quick, didn't it? Yeah, it must go. I just saw it, but just then went round the corner. Oh, I see it! There it is. Hang on. It's still behind. There. I see it, there we go. Wow. Looking at us as well. Not going in place to pick as well, absolutely sleeps of down. Hey buddy. Is it so oh my god it is. Hey buddy. <laughs> we're just watching Bambi memes as well. Yeah, we just watched a meme with Bambi's mother getting shot. We're bad people. Jesus Alex. That was me. We should probably leave it in peace. It won't let us go anywhere near. Yeah, it'll not even go there. Then. <laughs> Let's go this way instead. This way is perfectly fine. Fun well, fact: my granddad helped build that. Yeah, it was built in the 1930s as part of a job thing. Yeah. And my granddad not only helped build it, he helped design it. Yeah. It's quite a nice thing, but you can't ever. See, there's not one angle where you can see all of it. It's really annoying. That is such a small squirrel. And it's gone. Yeah, it's just gone. Oh, he's going for a swim now. A nest with nothing in it. It's time for the most nervous, nerve-wracking thing. The computer is basically going in to be wiped and then a fresh install. Because it's really slow and... Oh, no, that's the zoom. There we go. It's really slow and sluggish and horrible. So it's getting a fresh install, um, so I can survive through university. And that's the bad boy down there. 
I'm so nervous. Uh, it's getting a bit depressed at the moment. So, there's been this thing that's been going on for a couple of days now. Um, and it involves the Canal Society. So, for those who don't know, I'm actually a director of the Manchester Walton Berry Canal Society and the head of publicity. Um, something I'm very, very proud of. Uh, unfortunately, in the past couple of weeks, there's been a bloke called Stephen Parker, who is, uh, once upon a time, was a member of the Canal Society, but has been kicked out twice. He was allowed back in, got kicked out again. Uh, the reason being, he kept trying to take the Canal Society in a direction which it couldn't go. So, the reason being, the Manchester Bolton and Berry Canal has actually three canals. The Manchester Canal, the Bolton Canal, and the Berry Canal. Now, the Bolton Canal is underneath a motorway along most of its route. It can't go back into the centre of Bolton. Now, a new canal, technically feasible, but it would cost more than the, Bol the Berry Arm and the Manchester Arm combined, and it's the shortest part. So, you can see why it's not made a priority. Anyway, Mr. Parker believes that it should be the priority. He's been ramping up the publicity against the Canal Society recently, quite badly on social media, Facebook mainly. So all of the Canal local Facebook groups have been bombarded with their anti-MBBCS messages. And it's getting a bit depressing, because I'm seeing messages constantly. And then I'm looking in the comments, and I'm finding really negative comments about the Canal Society. If you don't know, there's not a lot of money going around in restoration. There is not a lot of money. Councils are getting less and less money, uh, and they're cutting left, right and centre, because they're not going enough money. The Canal River Trust hasn't gotten much money it's had to cut left right and center and we are just a volunteer group and the problem is as well that everything's so tied up in red tape nowadays it's not like the golden age of canal restorations where you could just turn up with a bucket and a spade and work for eight hours straight you have to do all this paperwork you have to sign all these things and it's turned so many people away from restoration work and it's a real shame because we can't do much we've done some seriously big work recently you know two big digs excavate the locks and stuff um, but those good things, uh, they can't happen constantly. No bottomless pits of money, no anything. And he's been ramping up the very negative publicity. You know, the, for example, a sunken boat, which we used to own, that kept getting sunk by the locals. Basically, the locals kept sinking the boat, and it cost us so much money to raise it and repair it. And if it gets sunk again a week later, this is long before my time, this is back in the 90s, um, so it got given up on and left there because we couldn't. Have, there, there was no insurance on it and stuff like that. But now he's been ramping up how this was recently rebottomed. I've asked, it's not. It wasn't rebottomed. Um, recently rebottomed, waste of money and all of that. It's, it's getting very difficult to look on social media, and I can't bury my head in the sand. I have to face it. Um, and. I've had to contact all of the local groups to say, look, this guy isn't quite what he says he was. Yes, he was kicked out of the Canal Society. And he, he, he's done a sob story, you know, when my mother was dying, I had to leave. And when I came back, I'd been kicked out. He got kicked out because he tried to force a charity, which, by the way, charity, you have to stick to the rules. He tried to force charity in a direction which it wouldn't go and got voted out by the whole council. Um... It's getting very difficult to deal with, because you can imagine I'm trying to get I'm trying to get good publicity for the Canal Society, and all that we're getting is very negative publicity, straight up, and it's very annoying. Uh, just need to wait for it to blow over. Guy hasn't got anything better to do. Hey, back at it again with the weird finds. Um, just dug this out because I want to take this to the flat with me. Um, and I found a couple of things in it. Cast iron, iron, uh, some sugar tongs, and a toffee hammer. Something that, all things that don't usually get seen anymore. And that counts for this. This is an interesting piece of furniture. Very vital at one point in everybody's home, but nobody has one anymore except for decorative purposes. I'll give you a couple of seconds to think of it. Ah, uh, yes, it's a coal bunker. Um, they've not heard that one before. It usually would have been sat right next to the fire, or the fireplace. 
inside this very beautiful ornate brass. Like, this is all hand done, by the way. This isn't machine stamped. This is handmade. It's very old. Inside of here is the internal uh, box, which would have contained the coal. Um, and this is what kept the coal. You can see all the coal marks. Uh, and you would have kept the coal in there and shoveled it in when you needed. Uh, I've got this now. This came from my granddad's. So, just clearing some of it out and putting some other stuff in other boxes to put away because this one's going to the flat with me. Should be interesting. Because I am a classy person, I've just been digging through some stuff and I came across this, which is a tin, obviously. Uh, and what it contained is something interesting. I've got to try and do this one handed now. Not easy. So, this is the tin. Give me a second. And that's what's inside the tin. And it's very difficult to read because of the very curly writing. But that says, um, Vest Pocket Cup. Uh, let's put that on here, so you can see. It's only tiny, but it contains a cup. Now, for context, I've not got best lighting here. Let's try and move this somewhere where you can see it a little bit better. Forgive me. There we go. That's rubbish as well, but you know. Anyway, for context, this sort of cup would have gone, been partnered with a hip flask. So you'd have had a hip flask full of your alcoholic beverage and you pour it into this little cup, which is actually waterproof. I checked earlier. And then when you're done with it, now I can do this one handed. Squash it shut, and then put it back in your pocket. I like that. I'm keeping it, because I'm a classy gentleman. I'm not classy. I'm not classy at all. Wednesday, and my computer is back. I just need to drag it out of my dad's car, but I'm just tidying up, because the place is a mess, as usual. Like my life. Um, but yeah. I had a bit of a shock because I had an email come through about my flat and I'm getting very worried with student finance now because uh, money, money worries. Um, it's my fault that I've left it late but I should get it in time. The problem is that last year it got delayed and if this year it gets delayed I'm going to be in rent arrears and I don't want that so very stressed out. Not happy about this. Nah. Well, the good news is that I've got my computer back. The bad news is that I've got to now spend a couple of hours setting everything up as it used to be. So that includes editing software, uh, my games, uh, my drivers, and I need to get uh, a hold copy of Microsoft Office, which I can actually get through university. So that's fine. It's just going to be annoying that I'm not going to have it for a while until I get that sorted out. Then I'll be fine. Um, so lots to do. Um, I've been packing up a little bit more stuff over there, um, so yeah, got a lot of work on here to do, which is really annoying. Um, obviously it had to be done, the computer is so much quicker. Bear in mind that before I had to, before I had this done it actually took 15 minutes to boot, it's that bad. Now it takes under 30 seconds to fully boot, so I'm happy with that, I'm really happy. And it's also had some cleaning up of the, soft, of the hardware in there as well, so it's all good. But lots of tedious work. Ugh. I'm playing Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is something that I've... Hang on, I'll just pause this. There we go. I've wanted to play this game for ages, so... That was the first game I've installed on my computer, so I thought, why not? Problem. We got a storm going in there. Yeah, it's storming right now. You got thunder, no lightning yet. Oh dear. I'd like to say I've done something interesting today. No, it's half two. I've been playing Rise of the Tomb Raider all day. Stellar game. But I do need to do some tidying up. I don't want to. So I've come to a genuine and really kind of terrifying realization that the attic, the room that I have lived in for pretty much 17 years. I come up here when I was about three. Will no longer be the same ever. It's a weird thought. Because obviously, I've got all this stuff here. 
got all my stuff here for my flat. They're just for ideas. That's new stuff, that's my stuff. But by the time that this goes out of the room, I'll have moved out. And I'm really hoping that I don't move back in again. I can get myself a job and afford rent and get my own place. Start life. Adult life. Ew, gross. So, I don't know, it's weird. It's a lot of emotions that I wasn't expecting. I'm very sentimental. But yeah, this room will never be the same. Again. It's a weird thought. I don't think you've ever seen it pristine on the fat chat before. Let me tell you, it's an amazing room and it's tidy. <sighs> Such a weird thought. Hello, you. What else to do? He's normally not allowed up here, you see. He has a bad habit of shredding the stair carpet. That's not the stair carpet, that is. That's just my filthy washing. I apologise. I've been leaving the door open. Downstairs there's a door and a retainer, because back when this one was quite young, he used to open doors. He used to jump up at the door handle and open the door, so we've got a door with a retainer so that he can't open it and nobody can leave it open, because he used to absolutely demolish the stair carpet. But I've left the door open to get some air through, because it's very hot at the moment, it's very humid. And he's come up here, and I think he's really enjoying being up here, because he's never allowed up here, are you? Usually cats have free reign of the house, but... Cats aren't allowed up here except Smudge, which is a special case because Weasley picks on him so Smudge a lot of times stays in my parents' bedroom, which is down those stairs. But this one never comes up here, do you? And you're very happy, aren't you? Good boy. Oh, you great. Oh, you great tart. It's wet, it's miserable, and I'm going to camp. To Cameron's, got the switch, and I'm going to play some Mario Kart and some other games. It shall be good, and the weather's miserable. It's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. He appeared on the time. This is bizarre. I know, right? It's so weird. Come in, come in. Coming in. Carol, what are we playing? Play Tiny Night. It's a game. Night. It's a game, is it? Yeah. But that's a TV camera. Yeah. But you're on a computer. Yeah. You can't play a computer on a TV camera. And it's, it's... Yeah, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's a cursor. It's thinking about life, the universe, and everything first. It must think about everything before it does anything. There you go. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a loading screen. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it, Cameron. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Oh, now it's Pixel Tail Games. Oh. That was genuinely the biggest anticlimax that I've ever felt in my entire life. You lied to me. You lied to me. Why? <laughs> Cameron, it's wh too early. why are you playing no. my fat chat in a game? Because I can! So this is the fat chat, being watched on the fat chat while playing a game. Cameron, why? Because I'm a skeleton. I'm very Cameron, why? Because I'm a skeleton. I'm sleepy, I've been up for a while. Why, though? Um, oh, God, I, I look awful. Pretty much packed. It's kind of pissed in. Oh. <laughs> 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 Cameron, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Please stop. Thank you. It stopped. It stopped. Turn it off. Yes. Best thing to do with the fat chat. Turn it off. <laughs> I'm gonna Go on, Cameron. Go on, Cameron. Let's play some mini golf. Oh. Oh. That was actually a pretty good shot. That, that was a good shot. Though. Why does it zoom in so much? Play mini golf. Nice approach. Birdie. Oh, hi. Hello. This is Cameron's cat, one of the two. The other one's in the hammock below. Hello. Yes, this is Ty. Show up for Tyson. No. Is it Tiberius. Not Ty Tiberius, sorry, not Tyson. Named after the great Tiberius Kirk. Oh, yes. Of Star Trek fame. Or should and I say? I, I should have said Star Wars there and then annoyed all the nerds. Yeah. That would have been fun. And then there's the grumbly one. She's Hello. no idea if it's grumbly now. Why? She had her teeth sorted. Oh, did she have bad teeth? Yeah. Oh, what a. She has. Poor Bibby. Oh, you're so, but they're so soft because they're pure Bengals. Yeah. Very soft. 
cute kitties. Oh. This is the look of a broken man. Jailbreak. I hate that I know their names. You know what the bad thing is? <laughs> he's a broken man. No, we look at the time that he's this man here behind the camera has been here. He's been here for eight hours. <laughs> I can't get rid of him. Someone I save live here me. Now. Cameron, I live here now. This is my room. I, I'm, I'm sleeping here. You're, no. you're on the couch. No. Get out. Get out. I can't. You're blocking I've the doorway. I'm trapped here now. Shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Saturday now. Hello, you two. It's nice and sunny. Um, sister's just got a new bed. So I've stripped the old one of all the good wood. I'm going to use this to build a wood shed. Um, we don't have a wood burner, but I have a fire that I have going during winter. Hello, Woody. Yeah. Oh, that's me, Dad. Yep. <laughs> Plenty of spare wood. The bed's in, and now I'm in my commuter chair because I just finished Rise of the Tomb Raider. It took me three days. I didn't 100% it. No, I didn't 100% it, which is a bit of a shame. But I did complete the story, and I also completed one of the DLCs because I bought everything when it was on sale for like 10 quid um, now nah, I'm broke <laughs> really good, I'd recommend getting that to anyone Tomb Raider, the original one, is actually in my top 10 list of games ever Just amazing game so this one don't know in my head if it's better than the original I say the original, it's the remake the second reboot um, but I'm gonna say they're equal, but I'll put Tomb Raider still in my top 10 games for now. So good. Honest. And one of the best bits is that she's a strong female lead. Not going into any of the stereotypes, like she's just a badass. And it's really good. That's probably the best thing about it. Not overly sexed up. Not overdone, just amazing lead just happens to be female it's just amazing please play it and play Tomb Raider play both of them they're both good why why he hates having his tail touched hello it's Sunday I'm a mess right now um I finished installing almost all of the software I used on my computer now, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna have a busy week next week, so I'm gonna do a lot of revising for my theory test. Hello, any trouble? Gonna do a lot of revising for my theory test, which is important. He's gone. Um, I'm also gonna edit up two fat chats because I missed one last week, so it's good. Just I'm gonna upload them on the same day. Uh, so yeah. Should be fun. <sighs> it's Sunday and I didn't do anything really today. At all. <sighs> Got one of those like weird tired things. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna go to bed. So, yeah, I've been dealing with Stephen Parker again, but uh, I'm on to him now, my nemesis. I know what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm going to head off because I'm very tired. I've got two videos to edit this week, and uh, not much time to do them, so I'm going to edit them both up and release them. See you next time. Bye-bye.